let's discuss the four clairs. Let's start with clairvoyance, which means clear seeing. And what happens is in your third eye area, which is your sixth chakra, it's where we experience clairvoyance. Many times, angels will send messages in metaphors and symbols. When you're with a client, for example, you'll want to tune in to your client's angels or spirit guides, and they will send you a metaphorical image that needs to be interpreted relating to the client's life. For example, you may receive an image in your mind with the client swimming in the ocean, but struggling because they're swimming against the current. This would say that there's a resistance or possibly that the client is not accepting their current situation. Then you could discuss that situation. And when you receive clairvoyant images, they're not literal, but they are metaphorical. You may be clairvoyant if you're a highly visual person and are likely to notice how people, places, and even meals look before you focus on anything else. You're probably very artistic. Or if you're not creative in this way, you have an excellent eye for putting together wardrobes, interior design, and, and the same. Visual harmony is important to you, and you appreciate anything that's pleasing to the eye. You probably see sparkling or flashing lights when angels move around you, and you're most likely seen a departed loved one out of the corner of your eyes before. You have mental visions of possibilities and you have the ability to put these intentions into action. Clear audience, which means clear hearing. So when you tune into a client's angels or spirit guides, they may speak word for word, which means you should give it to the client exactly how you hear it. The angels may express in a specific way as well, so there's no differentiation. In those cases, when you're telling a client this message, it has extreme significance and importance to them. It's usually very specific, and it's something that they needed to hear exactly the way you say it. You may also hear celestial or orchestral music. No, this is the angels letting you know that they are there and watching over you. For example, I have horrible insomnia. The other night I asked the angels to please sing to me so I could fall asleep easily. Well, within one minute I heard the beautiful angel's voice singing in my left ear. The music is absolutely gorgeous and so peaceful. You may be clairaudient if you're very sensitive to noise and you're the first one to cringe at off-key notes and other unpleasant sounds. You can remember song melodies in much the same way that someone with a photographic memory can recall material they've read. It's best if you use earplugs when traveling as sensitivity to noise makes it difficult for you to sleep or relax on airplanes and in hotel rooms. For the same reason, you avoid the first few rows at loud concerts. When you use alarm clocks, you prefer waking to soft music on the radio rather than large buzzing sounds. Your angels speak to you with words that you hear inside or outside of your mind. During emergencies, a loud voice outside of one ear warns you of danger. The voice of heaven, unlike an auditory hallucination, is always loving, to the point, and inspiring. Even when it asks you to do something heroic or function beyond what you believe are your capacities, you're likely to hear celestial music and names being called in the morning. Don't worry that you're making it up even if it sounds like your own voice. As long as the voice is loving and asks you to improve a situation, it's heaven's way of speaking directly to you. Let's move on to clairsentience, which means clear feeling. So 
that's when you get sensations in your body that match or mirror something that's going on in your life or your client's life. Sometimes when you tune into deceased people and they indicate how they've died, it can be felt clairsentiently. Say if a deceased person has shot themselves in the head, you may feel like a sudden sharp pain in the head where they've shot themselves. When information is received clairsentiently, as soon as the message is passed on, the sensation is normally relieved from the body. If it's not, you can always ask the angels or the person that is crossed over that you received the message from to relieve you from that feeling that you are receiving. You may also feel emotional sensations. For example, if you are around someone that is depressed, you may feel their emotions and feel sad. You may be clairsentient if you interact with the world through your physical and emotional feelings. You're highly sensitive and may have difficulty dealing with crowds, which can include driving on busy streets and freeways. You sometimes confuse others' feelings for your own. You are very compassionate and often feel the pain of those around you, sometimes not even realizing it. You may overeat or indulge in other addictions to deal with overwhelming feelings. You want to help others to feel happy and may become a professional helper or form relationships with people who need assistance. You've been teased in the past for being too sensitive, yet your sensitivity has made you a delicate receiving instrument for heaven's messages. Your angels speak to you through your heart and body. You feel joy as an indicator that you're on the right path and fatigue as a clue that you need to take time for rest, play, and self-care. You can tell whether a person is trustworthy or not, and your gut feelings are accurate. You feel air pressure and temperature changes when communicating with the spirit world, and can sense the presence of angels or departed loved ones, and sometimes feel angels brushing your skin or hair. Don't write these sensations off as being just feelings or your imagination. This is how heaven speaks to you. Clear cognizance means clear knowing. That's when you just suddenly know something to be true, even though you never saw it, heard it, or felt it. You just know. As an example, when things just come to you out of nowhere, like, oh, you're moving into a new house. And somebody may say, yes, I just moved into a new home last week. It's not something you ever heard about. It's just something that you know. You may be claircognizant if you're an intellectual who receives direct communication through ideas and revelations. You often know facts, both trivial and important, without having read or heard anything about a particular subject before. It's as if God has downloaded the information directly into your brain. You're not comfortable with small talk and prefer deeper and more profound discussions. You may feel uneasy around people, except in one-on-one -on -one situations involving a subject of interest to you. You're able to fix electronic and mechanical items without referring to instruction booklets. And you know how to heal people in situations too. You most likely been teased for being a know-it-all. You may be skeptical about angels and psychic abilities unless you've had a dramatic life-saving experience that you can't explain away. Your angels speak to you through wordless impressions that you receive in your mind. You're able to mentally ask for information or help and receive it as divine instructions that suddenly appear in your thoughts. You receive brilliant ideas for inventions, teachings, and businesses that should not be ignored. The aha moments are clues to when you're connecting with your angels. And as a clear cognizant, you tend to assume that your knowledge is common information. Well, it isn't. It's heaven's way of answering your prayers and speaking directly to you. Namaste.